Overwatch never will be perfectly balanced. So the fact that that is still the developer's main goal as evident in their new blog post is astonishing. Now, maybe that's just something they have to say, oh yeah, we want every character to be viable. But like, come on, do we really want every character to be just as viable as everyone else? You really want Roadhog just as viable as Reinhardt? You want Junkrat Bastion just as viable as Tracer? When it comes to like what heroes are viable, I think there's a definitely a way for them to have heroes be viable. And they've done that quite a bit. It's usually when they end up in that Orisa Roadhog rotation. And that's more of like the cycle and the rotation they need to break. I, I don't think they're trying to make it so every hero is at a 50% win rate. I think they have a range. And I think that range is probably viable. And when they're out of that range, that's when they make those changes. Problem being is you can have the discussion of, yes, every time Orisa becomes meta. And I'm not talking like if Orisa's playable. Orisa's playable right now, that's fine. Orisa versus Orisa. That's when you have these metas that become a little bit stale or not as fun for people. And that's a different story than what's being discussed there, right?